Somebody on Instagram wants to know where monkeys come from. I am delighted to inform you that we kind of sort of know. Some of this is subject to change. We're going to get more papers about it, and I'm excited to read them, but here's what we know so far. The earliest monkeys, also known as the dry-nosed primates, evolved out of the earliest primates, which also evolved into the wet-nosed primates. Ever heard of a lemur? That's what a wet-nosed primate is. Despite being famously associated with creatures from Africa and Asia, fun fact, the earliest primates might actually have evolved in North America, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. The earliest primates evolved out of the earliest members of a group called Uarconta, which also contains critters like the Colugo. The earliest members of the Uarconta evolved are the earliest Uarconta glears, which also evolved into the glears, which contains rabbits and hares, as well as rodents, which I'm super excited about because I love rodents. It's an honor to be related to those guys. The earliest members of the Uarconta glears evolved out of the earliest members of a group called Boreoeutheria, which also evolved into the Laurasiotherians, which includes creatures like lions and tigers and bears, oh my, as well as hoofed animals like deer and horses and whales. That joke never gets old. The earliest members of Boreoeutheria evolved out of the earliest members of Placentalia, and those were the creatures that evolved the innovation of the placenta, which mean meant that they could give birth to relatively fully developed live young that didn't have to continue developing in a pouch after they were born. The earliest placental mammals evolved out of the earliest members of a group called Theria, which also evolved into the marsupials. You know what a marsupial is, right? I don't need to explain that. Anyway, the earliest Therian mammals evolved out of the first populations of mammals, which must logically, although we haven't actually found this creature in the fossil record, and why would we expect to, must logically go back to a single last female ancestor of all living mammals, who I like to call the Great Furry All-Mother, the Jurassic Spring from which flow these rivers of milk. She is probably somewhat less intelligent than a mouse and only slightly larger, and yet the world as we know it is her creation, and so I put it to you ladies and gentlemen, is she a god? Yes.